Do you want these guys first? Yeah, players okay. first. Big thing maybe in the first half was you just the inability to get them off the field. Can you talk a little bit about that, Jared? Yeah, we just came out slow on defense. They did a nice job. But yeah, we just didn't come out how we needed to. What did they do differently maybe in this game? Or was it basically what you saw in film? I mean, it was pretty much what we expected. We knew where they were going to attack us, but I mean, they had a couple change-ups, but it was, we just didn't do a good enough job making plays. Eli, there's probably one throw you want back in that whole game, and that was maybe that third and ten play late in the second quarter there. You had Therese open. I know you are rushed a little bit. Can you just talk about that little play? Was that what happened? Is you had to rush your throw a little? Or? Yeah, um, just had a little pressure on me, and uh, all we wanted, uh, what were they going to do, and just kind of execute on it. Deep, did they do anything differently for you, Deep, or I guess you guys? Not really. Uh, we kind of had the game plan, I thought, and we, you know, we, we came out with what we expected, and we just couldn't execute, uh, especially in the first half. Jared, the first time you guys played, um, they played really poorly, and you kept their offense off the field for so much in that game. Did that at all? make it difficult to prepare for them this week, just knowing that they probably weren't going to be as bad as they were the last time? I mean, I didn't think they were bad the first time. I just thought we played pretty well that day. But we knew they were going to come out guns blazing, you know, we knew they were on a hot streak or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we, I thought we did a good job preparing. We just came out flat and just they made more plays than we did. Questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Coach, you're still here. Huh? You're still here. Go ahead. Same question for you, Coach. It was, uh, you think, as they just got going there in the first half and just kept it going? I mean, I think they scored in all five of possessions. You just had, you know, I think they were three for three on fourth downs and uh, converted a lot of. Yeah, a couple of things happened. They they did do some things. I mean, the, the week off helped them. There's no question. They had the extra week, and I'm sure they they did a good job with some of the things that we did last time. They had answers for, and and they used their tight end to get that. And then the quarterback played good. You know, he had some keeps and things like that. That it wasn't that it was new. It was what it was the right thing to do versus what they saw in film for the last two weeks. So they had, they had the extra week definitely was the uh, big difference in this deal from last time to this time. As far as their, you know, you asked a the question, they're bad last time, they were good last time. All right, it's just like, it was the same, foot, the same two football teams. We probably were bad this time, but we're a good football team too. So opponents have a lot to do with wins and losses. And today, South Dakota State did a nice job and, and they've recovered from what they did last time. And we did a good job last time. So to me, they're two very equal football teams. There was no bad team and no bad play. It was that there was two good plans out there. And today, South Dakota State had a better plan. How much different of a game could it have been with a couple of fourth down stops? Those seem really pretty large for them. It, it, well, a couple of fourth down stops. and. What really hurt was when we lost Isaiah Weston, honestly. When we lost him to the concussion, that, that hurt us offensively. And, you know, I, I credit Nico. Nico was playing with a broken hand, and he was the one that was covering the tight end. So a lot of those things we were trying to cover up at the same time. And in the second half, actually, the adjustments were good. It was just we lost a couple critical players full talent on the field. And that, that's why I say the extra week. I mean, they, they were fresh. You could see that. And that helped them. Well, despite, you know, them being in rhythm, you were with them striking. Just like, uh, I asked you about that play, too. You had the right call, third and ten. Was it just he, he had to rush that throw a little bit? If you hit that, what, what do you think of him? I mean, he was, wide, they were, he was wide open running across the middle there. Yeah, well, that's, that's football. One, I could say that we missed it. Two, I could say they played good defense. It always has something to do with your opponent. And so that's why I credit them. You know, but, you know, because pressure is pressure. So I was, at halftime, I was as poorly as I thought we played to what we could play. We were still in the middle of the whole thing. I mean, it was 
that was what <coughs> kind of put us on our heels because we, we hadn't played that well and we were play away from being ahead for crying out loud. It was 14, oh, I think it was 13 to seven and they were in our red zone the whole time and we were touched down out from being ahead. So then like you said, those fourth downs hit and that's where it kind of hurt a little bit. So y'all got a good quarterback. You know, he made some plays. Did you think about going for it on that fourth and five there early in the third quarter? I did. I did. You know, it was one of those things that we were going to go for it had we got, you know, two, three yards on that deal. But we were sitting fourth and seven, I think it was, if I remember right. It was fourth and seven. And right around the 40, so I figured if we could pin them, you know, get in and get out and get the ball back at the 50 yard line, that was just as good as trying to make that attempt right there and give them the ball at the 50 yard line. So, because there's a lot of game to be played, and I think it was. Uh, it was three possessions in your head, so that's not that many possessions in this day and age. So that was where you kind of made the choice of field position over, you didn't have to win it at that time, I didn't think. Anybody else? All right, thank you.